we were, the, and myself and uh, Brian Adams and uh, Burton Cummings and Randy Backman were the first 14 people who received it ever in Canada. Wow. And uh, I actually had the honor of getting the first one in my hand. Brilliant. So I'm very, very proud of that. But at the same time, I agree with you. This is airplay. This is from the people and from... It's, it's yeah, you're a kid in the basement. You write a song That's and right. then it plays 100,000 times. And 100,000 times. Burton Cummings talked about when he got one for American Women, which is, if I'm not mistaken, a, a million times in the States. A million times. Wow. Give up a Burton Cummings. Yeah. Oh, Burton Cummings. <laughs> He's a good Canadian. He's a Canadian, good Canadian boy. Is that right? A million times. Oh. You know, I had another honor. Uh, I have to mention uh, the song we're going to do now. There are two fellows that are from St. John uh, who were in a group called The Bells. And uh, that's Charlie oh, Clark yeah. and Michael Way. And, uh, yeah, yeah, right. And, uh, again, I have, to, I have to contact them. I haven't talked to them yet. But uh, uh, back when I was, uh, I was in, in California, actually, and I got a call from uh, SOCAN, or I guess at BMI at the time, and they said, uh, did you know that one of your songs was climbing the American Billboard charts? And I said, no, what's that? And uh, <laughs> they said the song, Stay A While, which uh, the Bells had recorded of mine, was climbing the charts, and I went. I didn't have any fathom of it. I couldn't catch it. I didn't know quite what that meant. And uh, so they said, uh, so in that case, we can give you some money. And I said, uh, oh, well, he said, how much would you like? I said, well, do you think I could have 300 bucks? <laughs> <laughs> and they said, well, how would you like 3,000 bucks? <laughs> and I, of course, realized then what songwriting, besides just the actual writing of the song, how lucrative it could be if you made money from it, I mean the money. So they sent me 3,000 bucks down and I bought myself my first Martin, you know, kind of thing. But uh, I'd like to say that I, I phoned uh, Billboard every, every week ahead of time to find out the chart number because it was so exciting. <laughs> so just you think, could ask for another 3,000. Just to find another 3,000 dollars, yeah, right. But US, what happened? US dollars. Yeah. There were two Canadian oh. songs happening. There was my song and there was G. McClellan's song, Put Your Hand in the Hand. We're climbing the charts like this, neck and neck. And I was so excited. I think, who's going to get the number one, right? Well, he Put got the number one, and I got the number head. seven. But anyway, I'd like to do that song for you now. Uh, it's called Stay A While. Ken Tobias, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, baby. I 
guess I'm gonna stay with her a while. Sing it with me. How she lives, she could have. How she makes me smile. The love I had to give her. Tobias, thank you very much. Gentlemen. That was beautiful, Ken. That is the most beautiful song. You know, honestly, Ken, I know a lot of your songs, but I didn't know you wrote that song, man. I t honestly, you know, if I if I'd known you written that, uh, you'd written that song, I would have slept with you and borne your children. <laughs> I would have done you anything. Wrote it about you. <laughs> that was the most. What you say. It's a good good thing you well, didn't tell him. If anybody needs a shag rug done tonight, Kenny, I'll just what do you say? Uh, Lonely boy over here. Lonely Listen, boy. Listen, I take I take it in the right. <laughs> I take it in the right way. <laughs> no, I don't take it in the right way. I, uh, <laughs> just say so that's much. good. Just call me big boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Ken Tobias, one more time, Thank ladies you. and gentlemen. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. How you make Thank me you quiver. Much.